Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're taking a look at Native Instruments' flagship bundle of instruments and effects, Complete 9. In fact, the music you just heard in that electronic groove was all done with sounds and effects from Complete 9 running in Logic. NI's Complete series bundles their most popular virtual instruments and effects in one convenient package that costs substantially less than purchasing them a la carte. The software can function as a standalone system, but more commonly is used as plugins within a digital audio workstation like Cubase, Ableton Live, Logic, or Pro Tools, among others. As long as your Mac or PC host software supports audio units, RTAS, VST, ASIO, Core Audio, AAX Native, or the WAS API formats, you're in business. Complete 9 can be purchased as a software package for first-time buyers or as an upgrade for owners of previous versions. For our video, we've installed the Complete 9 Ultimate Package, which takes a whopping 370 gigabytes for the complete installation, including all the sample content, and ships on a dedicated hard drive ready to install on your own drive. Yes, 370 gigabytes is a lot, and no, you can't run it from the included drive. That's for installation only. What I'd recommend is installing the sample content on an external drive, and that's really easy to do during the installation process. Now, when we reviewed Complete 8 Ultimate, we spent some time talking about the entire Complete package, and for a run-through of the older features, take a look at that video, because this time around, we're only going to focus on the new products in Complete 9 Ultimate. Instrument-wise, we've got the Monarch Synth, Battery 4, Scanner XT, and seven instruments that run within the Contact platform, Damage, Evolve, the Giant Upright Piano, Action Strings, Session Horns, the Scarby Rickenbacker Bass, and the Abbey Road Vintage Drummer. On the effect side of things, we'll check out the Premium Tube Series, the RC24 and RC48 Reverbs, and Driver. Let's start with Monarch, NI's new virtual synthesizer. Monarch operates within the reactor shell, and although they don't specifically state it, it's pretty clear from a cursory glance that it's designed to emulate the legendary Minimoog synthesizer. Like the Minimoog, Monarch is a monophonic synth, meaning you can only play one note at a time, but with three virtual oscillators, each with six waveforms to choose from, that single note can be a mighty fat sound. Monarch uses zero-delay feedback filter technology to simulate the Minimoog's original 24 dB low-pass filter, and it really does sound amazing. But in addition, Monarch offers 12 dB and 6 dB low-pass filters, as well as a bandpass filter. And like a real analog filter, when you turn up the resonance, the filter will self-oscillate in a very realistic way. In addition, Monarch offers two different feedback circuits that range from subtle warmth to crunchy overdrive. Monarch is an outstanding virtual synth, and its excellent library of basses, leads, effects, and percussion are very inspiring. Let's listen to a few. <laughs> Next up is another virtual instrument that runs within Reactor called Scanner XT, and it's a combination of synthesizer and sampler. According to NI, two oscillators are used to scan a sample. At low frequencies, a sample is read back and forth, while at higher frequencies, you hear the oscillators being shaped by the sample waveform, similar to the concept behind a vocoder. The important part is that Scanner XT delivers some very complex, beautiful, and very electronic sounds, especially eerie textured drones, soundscapes, pads, and aggressive wobble basses. One feature I loved in Scanner XT was the preset morpher. When you select one of the eight variations of a patch, the sound actually morphs into the new preset at a speed you can control, or if you prefer, you can leave it in a state between the two presets. The next instrument isn't really new, it's an update. Battery is NI's drum sampler, and its ease of use and outstanding sound library have made it a very popular tool for drum programming, but it's been ready for an update, and Battery 4 does exactly that. The rather tired-looking green GUI has been given a sleek, colorful overhaul, with similar sounds grouped together by color. 
All current sampler formats are supported, including MPC, ESX24, Halion, etc. There are 129 kits in the excellent factory library, 70 of which are brand new. The browser has been greatly improved to make types of kits and sounds easier to find, and drag and drop functions have been greatly expanded. The effects have been improved. The solid EQ and solid bus compressor are now directly available within battery, and a tape simulator has been added. A brand new effect, Transient Master, allows for sculpting attacks and decays. The time stretching algorithm, now called Time Machine Pro, has also been improved. There's more. I could spend the remainder of this video on Battery 4, but we've got to move on. Let's check out some instruments for soundtrack work. NI calls our next three contact instruments epic cinematic instruments, action strings, damage, and evolve, all of which are oriented toward scoring applications. We use them in the demo you just heard. Action string serves up an orchestral string section that plays different rhythm and pattern variations in time with your master clock. It sounds great, and as the name implies, it's focused on tense, action movie sounding styles. Similarly dark and intense is damage created by heaviosity, but instead of strings, you get percussion hits and loops. Damage offers an exciting 30 gigabyte library of heavy duty impact oriented percussion available in either loop menus or in single loops for more detailed tweaking. Simple to use but excellent sounding and features easily editable effects including distortion, reverb, and delay that add a nice polished sheen to the widescreen percussive terror. Similarly designed and also from Heaviosity is Evolve. If you've had the pleasure of using the Evolve mutations instruments in the past, you'll get the idea. A wide spectrum of sounds, rhythms, and effects, bass and tonal loops, percussion, stings and transitions, and plenty more are on board. Also, for most of the presets, hitting keys in the sixth octave triggers effects, allowing you to experiment and sculpt sounds in real time. Now, many of us tend to think of native instruments as geared towards scoring, EDM, and hip-hop production styles, but over the last few years, they've been expanding their contact arsenal with instruments geared toward broader areas like pop, R&B, rock, and soul. Four new contact instruments continue in that direction. On top of the four Abbey Road drum kits carried over from Complete 8, Nine now offers Abbey Road Vintage Drummer, which focuses on rare drum sounds from the 1920s to the 1940s, recorded with vintage gear at legendary Abbey Road Studios. Perhaps you've heard of it. Two different kits are provided, one called Ebony, the other called, yes, you guessed it, Ivory, and both are offered in full and light iterations depending on your memory limitations. The kits sound fantastic and extensive, but easy to use tweaking options are available. You can program MIDI patterns yourself or choose from the extensive Groove library that features not only vintage patterns like swing, ragtime, and Latin jazz, but modern indie grooves as well if you want to add a bit of classic character to modern productions. Next up is the Session Horns instrument. The carefully sampled horn section is made up of two trumpets, a trombone, and a tenor sax. You can play the whole section or choose one of the three horn or two horn subsections. If you play them yourself, you can use different modes from the voice assistant to smooth the transitions between notes. And there's also a smart voice split feature that automatically assigns the note in a chord to the appropriate instrument in the section, just like an arranger would. Another option is to choose one of the adjustable riffs available in the animator in styles ranging from dub reggae to soul, pop, and others. Another of Complete Nine Ultimate's new realistic instruments oriented toward pop and rock production is the new Scarby Rickenbacker bass. To get the sounds, a Rickenbacker 4003 bass has been meticulously sampled to deliver not only the solid bottom end you want in a bass, but also the crisp mids this model is known for. A wide range of controls for the instrument, amp, and cabinet are available, topped off with a tape saturator, EQ, and compressor from the Solid Mix series, enabling you to really polish the sound. NI's already expansive piano library has been expanded with The Giant, 
which meticulously samples a Clavins 370i, the world's largest upright piano. The Giant comes in two flavors, the regular version with numerous fairly traditional presets to choose from, but in addition there's a cinematic version which delivers a wide variety of weird abstract sounds, including overtones, hits, scratches, resonances, and textures that range from beautiful to terrifying. This could be your go-to instrument when it's time to score that horror movie. So that wraps up the new instruments in Complete 9 Ultimate. Before we close, let's take a look at the new effects. Two new reverbs are on board, both made in collaboration with Swedish company SoftTube. And while NI doesn't specifically state it, they're clearly based on classic digital reverbs, with the RC24 emulating the Lexicon 224 and the RC48 emulating the Lexicon 480L, both very popular studio staples for decades. Both reverbs feature a user interface modeled after those units' LARC remote controllers and feature spectrum displays to visually represent the effect and AB buttons so you can compare different sets of adjustments. Both units offer some subtle but interesting modulation on the reverb tails to give them a warmer, more realistic sound. On the RC24, Four different modes of modulation and an intensity slider are at your disposal, while the RC48 has a random hall setting that adds random variations, which can be made more intense with the spin and wander sliders. Of the two, the RC48 offers more control options, specifically because of its pre-echoes tab that allows you to add up to six echoes with adjustable timing and volume. Either way, both are excellent, very musical reverbs. The driver distortion effect is also included with complete Ultimate, and it's a blast. In addition to distortion, there's a filter with the usual suspects, frequency and resonance, while the distortion knob lets you dial in the amount you want, while the color knob acts almost like a tuning knob for the fuzz. The sound quality is outstanding, but what really set Driver apart for me were the extensive envelope and modulation controls, which can be applied to either the filter frequency, the amount of distortion, or both. The envelope modulation even features a sidechain input, which was a nice touch, allowing for some very musical applications. Finally, yes finally, our last three effects in Complete 9 Ultimate are NI's Premium Tube series, also developed in collaboration with SoftTube, and again, while not specifically stated, they all resemble manly hardware devices popular with studio engineers. All are designed to simulate the warmth of vintage tube gear, and they do it quite well. The enhanced EQ is great for warming up individual tracks across all frequency ranges, although the hardware piece that it's based on was often the go-to unit for beefing up a track bottom end. The passive EQ is a four-band, two-filter EQ well-suited for bus EQs and mastering applications, similar to the Manly Massive Passive. The Vericomp also seems like a good choice for bus and mastering applications, and it's similar to the Manly Variable Moo Compressor. Variable Moo basically means you can increase the gain on it. Ratios vary depending on whether it's in compressor mode, where the ratio begins at a subtle 1.5 to 1 and increases as you drive the input harder, or limiting mode, also with input dependent ratios, in a range variable from 4 to 1 up to 20 to 1. All three units offer a very reasonable facsimile of the hardware versions for a tiny fraction of the price. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of our overview of the new instruments and effects in Complete 9 Ultimate, another winning bundle from Native Instruments with plenty of inspiring instruments and effects. Again, keep in mind that the entire package offers a lot more, and for further information on some of the older plugins in the bundle, check out our earlier video on Complete 8. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.